Hello, welcome back to Formos. Today, we're going to be looking at this. This is a 3D printed spring. So what this really does is it uses the tension created on this point to pop out again. And this is printed with PLA. Uh, I will leave the link below to the Thingiverse page where you can download and print this because it's quite a nice option to having an actual spring. So because it's PLA, you don't need any flexible material um, such as PTG to print it, which can be expensive. So to get into testing it, we will have to print a bag. Uh, this is for short art mags, so I will be printing a Watchman mag. So here, as you can see, I've assembled half of the mag. So what we'll do is just put the spring in, put the flower in, keep that in place while putting the other side on. and trying to align everything and then take a screw and put it in place And now we've fully assembled this magazine. How well does this work? I would say very well. Uh, you will need to sand down the inside of this as it doesn't go very smoothly in mine. But as you can see, it does pop right back up because of this tension, which is very nice. It works well. In addition to that, this gets a bit wobbly because you can see this part failed to print on the side, which would then hold this a bit more in place, which would make this work better. So, if you do choose to print this, sand down the inside here, here, and on the follower, because you can see it gets a bit stuck. Um, However, uh, if it wasn't for this, if I'd taken a bit more time fixing this up before the video, which I really didn't see necessary because I kind of wanted to show you how it looks before you've um, processed it, kind of, to so you understand that if it comes out like this, it's nothing wrong with it, and it should be working like this. And the Watchman mag, if we're going to talk about that, I will leave a link to that also down below, is very nice. It has, I think, a capacity of 10 darts, and, and is held together by these two screws down here which for me worked fine with just putting normal nerve screws here if you don't want to go up the other side, but that's totally fine for me. The form is actually very nice. Let's pop out the dots. In addition to the spring here, which that's why I kind of I chose this, because then I can see this spring in here, which you can see compresses pretty well. And it kind of sounds like it wants to break, but it doesn't, which kind of surprised me, but it, if it works, it's nice. So, the, the what is usually used in these mics are the Foam Blast drum magazine springs, which if you live outside of the US, can be a bit hard to get. And 
therefore this might be a good option for you. If you can get the drum springs, I would highly suggest it as those will work better over time. Uh, uh, but if you want a fast solution, this definitely works. Please click that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.